Don't, don't look at me that way. You know don't what? look at me and shake your head like that. <laughs> you know I mute the mic so they don't have to hear... That. I love how you tried to make noise at first and it didn't yeah. make noise. Yeah, was, you saw me thrusting my body forward and everything to try to make it creak. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back to Phoenix Wright, he's attorney, blind. Uh, Cameron, what do you remember from this? Uh, I remember we talked to this dude, he punched us and... Oh yeah, he did punch us. And he's like, oh, what are you gonna do, arrest me? And he, and he, and he bought that painting for five million dollars, definitely didn't steal it. Yeah, he totally did not steal it. But, totally, uh, totally did not murder anyone. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna examine you. Oh. Wait, we already examined everything, remember? Yeah. We, we were told to go back, like, oh, why don't you ask Mr. G Mr. Grossberger of why he got no pain no more? Oh, hi. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing here. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem! <laughs> Who uh, jumping? J j what? The Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. <laughs> Hold up, I'm taking a bite of my food. Oh my god! Well, all you gotta do is press the button. Oh, you. What's wrong? You look so pensive, like an old man at the end of his days. Huh? I'm not civil yet. See now. See now yet? I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. All right, can we actually talk to him without him? Freaking the fuck out now? Okay, I guess so. So you came to the trial? Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me last night, you see? I couldn't get a wake up sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just, uh, your sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for that girl. I don't know, you could have, like, uh, hypothetically, you could have, like, been her attorney, but anyway. <laughs> I asked before, but why did you refuse a request for defense? I think I have a right to know. Alright, Mr. Wright. No, no, I'm sorry. It's just, uh, I need more time to think about it, my boy. Okay. You just seem to be troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Hey, what, what is this dealing with the... So I played Blue Corp a visit? Ho ho ho! I see. Mr. Grosberg? I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is that? Well, off with it, my boy. You see, it's just... Hmm. What do you want to ask him about? I feel like the, the, the big paint- Because he literally said, like, I would never sell that painting in a million years. Don't even ask. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to ask about the painting, but I was like, I was like, I feel like I'll get more lore if I ask the other two, but mm -hmm. I want to ask about why the painting's gone. Yeah. Mr. Grossberg, sir? There was a giant painting hanging there the other day, was there not? The one you said you had no intent of parting with? Well, I, I saw it today. It was in the CEO office of Blue Corps, Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I have guessed you won. That's, it is a large painting. <laughs> Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. Uh, connected, you say? Yes, and I know that what what that is. Your lovers! <laughs> I want to say that so bad. So You're fucking dead. bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something I can claim to understand. But you, Mr. White, are lovers, are you? <laughs> Why aren't you? <laughs> was it worth it? Was no, it, it, it worth was, it? It was worth it. What, my boy? You sent that painting to him. As a sign. I said, oh, time, love! Well, my boy, please. You're letting your fantasies run wild with you. Where do you get these bizarre ideas? I, I don't understand how you could... It's because I'm not. We're not. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> Enough. I shall swallow my pride and tell you all. I, I, I think he was going to tell us regardless. <laughs> it's so really funny. That shit. You're gay! I knew it. They are like... <laughs> no, no. We're not lovers. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Red White is a man that makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years? 15 years? Oh, because of the DL6 incident, you may have guessed the name of the back of the photographs. 
As you expected, I must. I must. I could not stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. If it's all for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Mr. B Mr. Red White it will be nigh to impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. He has. Uh, it has him an iron grip. It gives him one. An iron grip, they say. <laughs> it gives him an iron grip. Press the guy new one. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, the police, politicians. Oh my god, he's a he's a real CEO. <laughs> what? They are bound, unable to harm themselves, or therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. But you, what you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. Damn. So what's what is the DL6 incident? DL6 is nothing. More than a sort of sorting code for the police gave the, the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium. A spirit medium. A medium? Her name was Misty Me Misty Fay. Fay! Indeed, she is Mia's mother. She had been investigating. She had been investigating a murder on at the bequest of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. That's what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared all of her wrongdoings. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the BL6 incident. <clears throat> Damn. But why were you his lover? <laughs> yeah, why are you gay? I didn't- what are you, a bear? Why are you gay? <laughs> you know what? I'd say Red White likes it up the- okay, never mind. So- <laughs> Why are you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DL6 incident was a top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using this medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I... I do <gasps> you told White? He offered me riches. It was embarrassing. It was an embarrassment for me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White heard about it, and then he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the laws of this country as he sees fit. Yet, if he would, if you still would challenge him, have a close look at Mia's office. Mia's office? She followed his every moves for years. She may have recorded something that is what she found. Oh. Are you gonna show him shit? <laughs> Sorry, my boy! I don't have- I don't think I can help you with that! I almost threw up from all the water I was drinking. <laughs> it's funny, looking at this room, it seems so normal. Hard to imagine a murder took place here. <laughs> it's hard to imagine that my- my boss was dead on the floor over there with a- with a gash in her head. <laughs> Maybe I should have another look around. I like how you immediately went there. Like, you you know. <laughs> well, I'm uh, considering in the last one, it said, hmm, there's some some missing files here. Yeah. All the cases the chief has ever worked on are found here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file would I look at? A through I, J through S, or T through Z? T, U, I know, W. White. <gasps> the entire white section is missing. Oh, W, I meant. Was it taken? Wait, you want <laughs> what, what are the other ones? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Let's see if there's an A record of this file that catches my eye. A, B, F. Misty Faye, that's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm, should I take a look? Yeah, fuck it, read it. <laughs> I have tarnished the Faye's name, leaving only these words my mother vanished. I was, I was determined to find the ones who have made my mother blame herself this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. One was Marvin Grossberg, a lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. This parasite makes his fortune on, threaten on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the recording stops here. So Mia knew Grossberg. Is that why she worked in his office? 
Damn, that's some, that's some not, like, next level shit. Mr. J, nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just try skimming some of these? <sighs> well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest part here is it ends with S. Suicide. Ew. There's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. Wait. That's Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. Why well, drove all them to I can use these newspaper clippings. Let's find the most disturbing one! <laughs> Damn, that's some crazy shit! I gotta find the most fucked up suicide and show it to Mr. White. <laughs> Alright, what's your next move? Are you gonna go confront him, or...? Apparently, Miss May is in for questioning. I doubt they'll let me talk to her today. You are talking- hmm, the bellboy seems to be out. Huh? Sounds like water's coming from the shower. <laughs> what to do? Monkey making, monkey making, That's money, money making. Shut up! <laughs> I got the money making blues. So long as he's been enjoying washing the shower. I thought he was can taking I, a can shower. I, can, I, can I examine him in the shower? God damn it! <laughs> I knew it! You're gay! <laughs> Come on, leave the gay man alone. Oh, I found these in Mia's files. So, she was investigating Red White, as I expected. Well, if you wanted to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. We didn't get anything else, we just have, like, what to talk to him about, at last. Alright, you wanna- you wanna go see him and his smiling teeth? <laughs> well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I had to ask you. No, I am not his gay lover. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lawyer. I really hate having to repeat myself. I'm not gay. <laughs> yeah, I find that hard to believe with the pink suit, diamonds everywhere, and the purple hair that you're not gay. <laughs> but it seems the message has not yet penetrated your thick skull. Just like how I did definitely not <laughs> penetrate Mr. Grossberg. <laughs> Stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Are you trying to murder us? Do I make myself clear? Transparent. Don't care. Hey, did you do this? This is the only clue I had that Mia left me. I better make this one count. Oh. Is he gonna, like, take this from me? Is he gonna rip it up in front of us? Mr. White, see this? This is an article describing the suicide of a politician. I can't read! <laughs> it was embezzling secret secret uh, government funds. Then one day, Gorgat, Gorgat leaked to the press. That very next day, he took his own life. And this concerns me how? I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file filled with articles like these. Every one of them was labeled with a, a single word. White. Mr. White, I know that you did this to this politician. Right? You loved him. Come on, man. <laughs> you were also his gay lover! <laughs> you were blackmailing him. Blackmail? No, not just him either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia's investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong, what is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, 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 I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. <gasps> Beep. Security office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White? <laughs> you're wrong! <laughs> I kind of want to say you're right. <laughs> Come on, man. You literally saw the man kill our mentor. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What I should be doing is now going after you. Just what are you insinuating? Mia was on to you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tap her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. 
so the culprit would be. I mean, even a child that would, could work this out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. Why is that you? What are you calling me for with this time of night? Mm. Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you just said you didn't want to go to court. Quite too- <laughs> I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man is standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The executioner, the hatchet man, the liquidator, the killer man. What? Mr. White, this is another one of those. Chief Prosecutor, I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? Oh, damn. I'm telling you to send the police. Now. Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer, as was Miss Mia. How dare you! I'll point the finger at you, and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they might even- they, they make even you look competent. Damn! Damn. I- I feel faint. <laughs> Not this guy! Detective Gumshoe, reporting, sir. Ah, butts, hairy butts! <laughs> right, actually. Phoenix Wright. And my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Wh what? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Take this despicable human being into custody. I'm shaking my head because I am not gay. <laughs> it is July, don't you know? Yeah, Pride Month is over, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Mr. Wrong about me being gay. <laughs> September 8th, 3.37pm, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. Why is going to set a trap for me? And the prosecution is going to be on it, of course. Edgeworth included. An attorney was signed me by state yesterday. I refuse. I had an idea. Right! Mr. Wright! Oh, Maya. Great. They let you out of detention? Just now, yes. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm afraid we switch places. What? You mean- you- I explained what happened yet- what happened with Maya. To Maya, whatever, fuck. I, we're in- we just basically swap places. She's free and I'm a criminal. <laughs> I don't believe it! How many people does that man need to destroy before he's satisfied? My mother, my sister, and now you! This has gone too far! Yeah, that right, bitch. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well... Defend me. The main court! <laughs> Help me break out of here! I don't think the guard would like that very much. <laughs> I feel like defending me in court is a, a terrible I idea. Yeah, I think the best thing she could do is really cheer him on. Well, you could cheer me on in court. Cheer for you? You mean, like a cheerleader? Huh? Um... Yeah, like that. <laughs> Alright, leave it to me! Huh? I better go get a uniform and some pom-poms! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what, 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 what? I'm kidding, it was a joke. Oh damn, we could've no, been like... Man, if we picked the other one, we should be like, Don't worry, I'm gonna get a crowbar and push you out of here! Let me pull the fire alarm! <laughs> no, really, I was kidding, but thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. 
I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Oh, yeah, I'm so going to can... fucking murder him. <laughs> yeah, so she could also end up in jail with us. <laughs> Just a piece. Okay, then come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two. I'll roughhouse them! <laughs> oh, shit, does this continue? Oh, times may change, yet the crimes... Yet with crime, it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings are no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit of three days was put on in, on initial court trials. Almost all finished in a day, most with guilty verdicts. I never thought I would end up in a defense chair myself in this, for this case. With a true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Bro, we're only on like 20 minutes. Slow that shit back up. Alright, we'll go a little bit further. Yeah. We gotta at least get through all the boring shit at the beginning of court, you know? Now you guys will see us save the game on July 3rd. <laughs> Alright, September 9th. Damn, bitch, why do we gotta go to court so fucking early? My, my, my voice. Hmm. Well, I guess this is it. Oh, uh, yeah. One way or another, this case is gonna be decided today. Uh, ah! Phoenix, look! What? Oh! Hi, baby! <laughs> prosecutor Edgeworth. I received a call from the chief prosecutor's office yesterday. Huh? I was told that whatever Mr. White says today, it will be the absolute truth. No matter how you try to attack his testimony. <laughs> if I raise an objection, I have it on good faith that the judge will listen to me. What does White have in the judge's pocket? Oh, wait, wait, what? <laughs> the judge in his pocket, too, as okay. in he paid him off. Oh. So, you're saying I'm gonna be guilty? End of story? Oh, don't look at me like that. Oh, I, I will do don't. anything to get my verdict for Mr. Wright. Anything. Why, 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 you little fucking. <laughs> How can you torment an innocent person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There is no way to tell who is innocent. Wait. Whatever. Who is guilty and who is innocent? All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. Guilty. That... <laughs> Come on, I'm man. I'm thinking of the boondog <laughs> slip of Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Rocky. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I make that my policy. You changed. Hmm? Phoenix, you know him? Don't expect any special treatment, Phoenix, right? Oh, but I want that special treatment from you, baby girl. F Phoenix? Mm. Well, court will be starting soon. Wh what? But wait! Your defense attorney isn't even here yet! They're not. I'll be defending myself. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Okay, let's do this. I mean, w when I first watched this like trial go down, I'm like, can you actually defend yourself in court? I thought like you need like an actual like attorney, but like we watch Law and Order, we've seen people defend themselves in court all the fucking time. And they like, they follow their attorney and be like, no, I'm gonna represent myself. You're doing a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! What's the one that we watched? What? It was that famous guy that that uh, voiced Aladdin. Not not a lot of like the Robin genie. Williams. Robin Williams. He defended himself in court, right? Yeah. Yeah. He did a fucking good job. I was like, shit, is he a fucking yeah. lawyer? And then he he blew up a place and then <laughs> swam in an ocean. Yeah, with cuffs still on, so I don't know if he drowned in there or what. <laughs> yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Guilty, Your Honor. I mean, what? <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor. I will, de I will be defending myself. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening statement, please. As the details of the event are already quite clear to the court, today we will hear the testimony of a witness to the defendant's crimes. I see. The prosecution may call its witness. That way far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edgeworth why his witness didn't testify before? It's like... it's like he's already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's going to be raising an objection about this, I suppose it's me. OBJECTION! OBJECTION! GAY! 
<laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you owe an exclamation to this court. Why didn't this witness testify at the trial against Miss Maya Fay? <laughs> Shake my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ever so sorry. Mr. White is a busy man, and besides, at the time, I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed. Again, my sincerest apologies to the court. Excellent, Mr. Edgeworth. I appreciate your demeanor. Oh my god, he's so hot. I mean, what? Uh, anyway, but first Edgeworth and now fucking uh, Cabot. <laughs> this is crazy. Great, he gets to show off and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Red White to the stand. Oh, yes. I'm Hi. not gay. <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> of course not! <laughs> Please state your full name. You wish to know the title of my personage? <gasps> Look at all this bling, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> er, your name? <laughs> yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, do my locutions confuse? <laughs> name! I, these two are great together. <laughs> my name is Red White, but my friends call me Blanco Nino. But the, isn't that white? Wait, is that red in Spanish? I thought red was ro rojo. I, th I thought that was like white kid. Wait, I wanna, what do I want to look it up? <laughs> I am the CEO, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Did you know the victim, Miss um, Mia Fey? This is a traditional slow cooked corn tortilla <laughs> and tortilla chips! <laughs> so she's calling it like a white tortilla or like a white chip. <laughs> that would be a negatory. No, I did not. You were at the Gatewater Hotel the night of the murder? Correct. And you witnessed the murder from there. Ahem. Why well, tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. White. You may begin your testimony. If I can't trip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Why do I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing? Ho ho ho! Look at my <sighs> fucking bling. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Lawyer, because I'm killing you. <laughs> Oh shit, why did you get here? Let him have a few- so Why is she not in cheerleader uniform? And why aren't you in uniform? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, it was about nine, I believe. I was quietly crucifying. Er, that's reading to you. <laughs> Some <laughs> papers by the window. <laughs> that's reading to you simple-minded little freaks. <laughs> and then I heard a bedlam coming from outside. A what? Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. Shake my head. It was then that I saw him, a spiky-haired man, attacking a woman with long hair. Needless to say, that man was none other than you, Mr. Lawyer. I called Miss May over at once. She, too, was flabbergasted, of course. The victim, she... she ran away, but you gave chase. <laughs> Finally, there was a terrible impaction. Then it was all over. Damn. Hmm. If things occurred as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Guilty! <laughs> <laughs> Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. I'm pressing this motherfucker on every single thing. No, I, I didn't do that. Oh, yeah, your, your bar's reset. Hold it! Hold it! How do you know what time it was? <laughs> because I am abso always absolutely perfect, you know? No, 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 you're not getting away with that. <laughs> you are so mistrusting, Mr. Lawyer. So, what was the proper term for secretary again? Anyway, Miss May ordered room service for nine. It happened soon after the room service attended. Sorry, I was distracted by the fact that he's... He's looking at her He's just straight, he's just straight staring down there. Come on, man. Let him have this. <laughs> hmm, that's what Miss May said, too. Press further or hold back. They might try to be like... 
like asshole to you, but go f if you want to go for it. Hmm. I think they'll get, let me off with a warning. <laughs> True, the bellboy who brought the coffee saw Miss May. But he testified that he didn't see you at the time. Ahem, this is your concern. Silly lawyer, Miss May received the coffee outside the room. Of course he could not see me. What the hell is that? I don't face? like that face! <laughs> he would need x ray vision to pull off something like that. Hmm. Tell us, what were you doing at that time? I was quietly perusifying her. That's really to you. Well, I guess I don't need to read this. I've already read these. By window. Do you mean the one directly from Faye and Co.'s law office? Correct. That is the only window you see. And there you were reading papers? <laughs> yes, the ones I was going to use Correct. to- Correct! I was reading different murder tactics. <laughs> the Gatewater is a businessman's hotel, and I am a busy man who had business to do, and by business to do, I mean gay sex to have with Mr. Gross <laughs> Grossberg. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> And then I heard a bell. Okay, cool. <laughs> a bellum? A bedlam? It must have been when you attacked, I assume. We see. Continue. But what the fuck is a bedlam? <laughs> the prize. I turned to look at the building across the way. I got a lot of words. So you were reading your papers until you heard that sound? But of course, I am no snoop peeping out of windows at you, night. You literally make a company about blackmail. <laughs> no, no snooping? Yeah, right. You made a company! <laughs> it was then that I saw him. A spiky-haired man attacking a woman with long hair. Yeah. Spiky-haired? That's it! <laughs> Needs to say it was I'm you. I'm holding it. <laughs> What did you just directly conf contradicts what Miss May's testimony? Miss May clearly say that the assailant looked like a girl. I've always been proud of my eyesight, Mr. Lawyer. Just what is your eyesight? <laughs> That's not an answer. Counting both eyes, 40. It, 40? Don't add them together. I think the witness is trying to say... His eyesight is good. I mean, like, like my eyesight's 20-20, but I'm not like, yeah, my eyesight's 40. <laughs> I'm just built different. And hey, whose side is the judge on anyway? And what did you do then? I called Miss May over at once. She too was surprised, of course. What was Miss May doing at the time? She had just finished giving me head. I mean, watching a soap <laughs> opera on the TV and was weeping openly. Do you know she had? Did you know that she had been taping the miss the the Faye office phone? Objection. How did you know? I mean, I would have objected to that if I was a lawyer. I would have Objection. Been like, that, that, relevancy. That, yeah, I would have literally said. Yeah, we've been watching is... a lot of Law and Order. Irrelevant. That has nothing to do with the case at hand. I care not. I will answer the lawyer's bold inquiry. Miss May was acting alone when she tapped the phone on this Faye woman. You make a good politician, Mr. White. Ho oh, ho! I know! After all, I am El Presidente. I thought that you were a Blanco president. Nino. Yeah, I thought you were the white tortilla chip. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> Victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Can you be a little more detailed about that? I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course, comprende. I understand. Oh, is this where we get him? The victim- wait. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. You gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Look at my fucking bling! <laughs> I am the grown up bling bling boy. <laughs> Joe, I'm just literally about to say that! <laughs> As you know, I am always absolutely perfect. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Well, the victim ran to the left and you gave chase. Objection. Yeah, you did it! Wait right there. Mr. White, you've dug your own grave. What is this? You said the victim ran to the left. But that contradicts Miss May's testimony. 
<gasps> she clearly stated that the victim ran right. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, it's simple. You have misheard her. I think not. Looking at the floor plans... The killer was here. And the victim, here. If the victim ran to the left, so as you claim she did, she would have been running directly away from the door. She would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Oh, ew. <laughs> Wait, does, does he look down again? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna let him stare at you like this. I don't like it, she pressed the button! <laughs> Very strange. I didn't see her run to the left, I did. Phoenix, look at his face. I don't think he's lying about this one. True. Maybe he really did see her run to the left. But if he did witness the killing... Wait a second! Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Miss May says right, and Mr. White says left. Can you explain this contradiction to the court? I mean, we literally saw, like, when we arrived at the scene, Miss May was up there and, like, calling the phone and everything. Yeah. Both witnesses are telling the truth, for once. Huh, I doubt it. Or, rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There is one scenario that would explain the con the conflicting accounts. What? <laughs> Obviously, the witness was not viewing the, the crime from the hotel. Oh, why is he li Oh my god. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes, what do you mean he was not viewing the crime from the hotel? If he was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law office of Fay and Co., of course. <laughs> More specifically, he was standing here. Time to show the court wh where Mr. White was standing. I'm gonna point the victim, like the king. That <laughs> <laughs> He's standing in the corner! Wait, so if he was. So he was. He was the killer then, right? Good <laughs> job, I guess just. <laughs> Don't sit! He was the victim, actually! <laughs> This is where he was. Look. When the victim ran over to the door, if he was watching from this point, it would appear that she ran to the left. Please, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing. Ruh, 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 ruh. No, I'm, that's exactly what I'm insinuating, Andrew. Shut the fuck up. Order, I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? He murdered her. <laughs> Rob Scallion! You can object to me all you want, baby. <laughs> the postulations of the defense are a distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Indeed, they do seem a bit far-fetched. Oh, I love that Pokemon. <laughs> ho ho ho! You provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing? The hilarity of the moment made me remember something. Oh my god! It appears I have been unclear, and for this I apologize. Mr. Your Honor, might I be allowed to testify once more? Very well, let's hear your revised testimony. Good luck. You can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Oh yeah, we've already seen that happen. She ran to the left. Miss <laughs> May's testimony was correct, as was mine. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely. That is what I saw. Next, with the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered the final blow. That is what Miss May saw. You see, you hit her twice. Don't you remember, Mr. Lawyer? No, I don't. Can you remind me of my crime, please? <laughs> Hmm, that does seem to make sense. Will you be cross-examining the witness's testimony? Oh, um, fuck yeah! <laughs> you better well. Oh, I mean, uh, y yes, you're on. <laughs> Alright, let me let me review some evidence real quick. Yeah, go ahead, because I'm trying to figure out where you'd place what. Look, I, I know the endings and all the sh little bits in between. I, some of the stuff that I remember from these cases, I do not fully remember, if that makes sense. Dodge to the right, and then she was struck. What is the does the the autopsy say anything? 
one we dumb. It says died from a blow by a blunt object. Yeah. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Wait, look at the floor plants. So that that whole area in white is what they could see from the hotel. Yeah. I might need to keep pressing on this one. Yeah. What do you mean by that? That is what I am about to explain. You Americans, <laughs> always so impatient. It has not become you. Is he European or something? Hey, buddy. You're an American, too. Oh. <laughs> he, wa he went to Mexico abroad, and now he thinks he's part of the, the culture. <laughs> what do you mean by f what do you mean first? First? That is what comes before what happens next. <laughs> you do speak English, right, you fucking idiot? <laughs> Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the movie. <laughs> I will try to use simple words for your benefit. First ran left, and then... <laughs> and then you hit her. Rabbit snake. I didn't hit anyone! <laughs> now, now, Mr. Wright, there is no point hiding things from this court. I'm not hiding anything. The prosecution requests that the defense refrain from interrupting the testimony. <laughs> Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Why is he mad at me? <laughs> the last bit of her strength, she ran to the right. What do you mean by next? Next is what I got I know that. <laughs> then that is all you need to know, Mr. Lawyer. Dude, this guy's testimony. As what I know? said, she turned and made a desperate dash to the right. The chase turned over the final blow. Stop saying it was me! <laughs> Bling! <laughs> but it was you! <laughs> Mr. Wright, if you claim that it was not you, then show us proof! Ugh! Can't I do s- I can't do it! Nothing right! Nothing! <laughs> May I continue? No! <laughs> so, each of you saw different parts? Absolutely, that's right, of course. Where did he pick up that annoying phrase? Anyway, moving along. You see, you hit her twice. One. So you were watching both times? I suppose I was. And please excuse me for not testifying to this sooner. What do you think, Phoenix? This is bullshit. I mean, I think we got him right where we want him. He slipped. Let's let, let him laugh for now. I'll wipe that stupid smile off his face. Alright. I actually don't know which one to press, to be completely honest. Nothing new was added. Yeah. It was just recycling shit. What do you mean by that? I'm uh, about to explain. You never gotta present evidence somewhere, but I don't know where the fuck you're supposed to present what to what. <laughs> she first ran to the left. Dodged an attack, then ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. I'm really trying to think. <laughs> yeah, this, one, this one's. I mean, everyone in the comments probably like, it's this simple. It's so stupid. You're so stupid. I, look, I remember some of this shit. Not all everything, you know. So. Wait, 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 wait. If I go, if I go back, when you assaulted the girl, she first mm -hmm. ran to the left. Mm -hmm. Oh. Broken beyond all recognition. I don't know. Well, if he if she ran to the left, he wouldn't be able to even see that, you know. When you assaulted the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her savagely, and that's what I saw. Next, it was their last strength, she ran to the right. But wait a minute, didn't April May thing say that she dodged it or some shit? I'm crazy, am I? The victim dodged an attack and then ran to the right, and then she was caught and, sh and struck. But the way he's- did he phrase it like, yeah, we bonked her once, she tried to flee, and then we bonked her again? Yeah. But we've already presented it. Yeah. That from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. 
I don't know. I don't know either. I mean, you still you can, you can press. Um, I mean, where you press everything, but you can try different things. That's what Miss May saw. See, you hit her twice. I feel like it's... I don't know if it's a testimony or like uh, like the autopsy or the informal's testimony, but. What about these glass shards? They're not important yet. <laughs> Does, it, does the clock say anything? I forgot if it does. Clock in the form. Okay, never mind. I don't know if it was like, oh, we had one, one wound thing, or like, I don't know. You want to try that? I guess so. Oh, it was right. Mr. White, the victim died from a single blow. Oh. What do you have to say to that? I thought it, that that was the case, but like, I didn't know if it was some bullshit or or. Now's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court you were absolutely perfect? Oh, thank you. Ow, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I will refrain from using this phrase from now on. Your Honor, if you can ask the witness for a new testimony. The witness is obviously confused, Your Honor. I would what? like to request a 10 minute break. What? Yes, yes, quite. What the fuck? We just started! The witness is confused because he's lying! What? I enthusiastically request that there is no break, Your Honor. Yeah, we want justice! Don't let him get away! Very well. If the witness would care to revise his testimony. Crowd's on my side. No slipping out of this one now, White. Mr. White. Oh, okay. The two accounts. Looked at the other. Wait, are you not gonna read it? Nope. What? You don't want me to read it? Nope. What do you want? Wait, what? Why? I think we should save this one for the next step. Why did we continue this? <laughs> All right. Well, we can continue. you even save here? Yeah. Okay, well, I didn't know, alright. Normally, you're not supposed to save in middle games like these. Well, look at that. I just did. Well, how about you shut your fucking face? <laughs> I think uh, we, we save it up for the next one to get to the bottom of this, because I think that there's going to be uh, lots of points to be made against uh, a certain Mr. White here. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to end it on a cliffhanger, but... uh. I love his face. Yeah, he's, he's I speaking. just now noticed he has a butt chin. <laughs> oh my god, he does! <laughs> <laughs> yep. In the next one, we'll get to the bottom of this. We'll prove that uh, we are innocent and that Mr. White Guy over here did, in fact, have sex with Mr. Gross. Oh my god, they were lovers! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, till next time, everyone. Alright, bye! Bye bye!